Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon. Okay, so um, as I promised this morning, I want to share with you the recorded uh, on my teaching. Okay, so just now we stop at how to sketch the circle. So as I may, I uh, the, the, the this one I already share with you the answer. So the thing that you have to take note is you have to um remember that uh, the uh, circle equation has its general equation where uh okay so we have x minus a square plus y minus b square equal to r square so how to read this so this one is a circle equation okay where uh, a b uh, or we can say that it is a circle where the center is at a b where x equal to a y equal to b with the radius is r okay so let's say here uh, the, the 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 simplest form of circle equation we have um, x square plus y square equal to for example I put one so here we know that it is actually x minus zero square plus y minus zero square equal to one square so we can see that we have a circle with the center is at um, the center of the circle is at the origin or 0, 0 and the radius r is 1 ok so you have to memorize on the general equation of the circle ok now when we look at the example here so we have x minus 1 meaning that our a is 1 and y y squared so meaning that y minus 0 so b is 0 so we can say that now we have uh, x minus 1 square plus y square equal to 4. Okay, so this one it should be there is uh, equal to 4. So we have a circle where now the center is at uh, the point of 1, 0 and the radius is 2. So here when you sketch the graph on 2D, you have to be careful with the, the scale because now this one, you have a circle with radius. Okay, let's say I change this to be uh, 4 because I want to discuss about the equal to 4. So let's say we have x squared, y squared equal to 4. So we have a circle. Center at zero zero, meaning that the the length on the y on the x axis and the length on the y axis are the same because the 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 center is at zero zero. So the length of this and the length of this should be the same, which is two. Okay, so for this course, we because we focus on sketching. The word of sketch means that you don't need to sketch. You, you are not drawing, okay? You are sketching. So, we don't bother about the scale. Uh, meaning that I, I don't ask you to put the, the numbering. So, let's say, okay, this one. So, this one is called drawing. You have to be more specific on the point on the X and the point of Y. There is a specific um, value here. But when you are sketching, we don't need this this kind of uh, value like this as long as you told you tell me that uh, you have a circle and now we know that the center is at zero zero and the radius is two so i know from your sketching that because the now the value here on the x and on the y axis they are the same so i know that this circle is actually a circle with radius two centered at the origin but let's see if I, I'm, I'm asking you to sketch. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, so um, meaning that labeling is very important, okay? Because sometimes when in exam, uh, you need to sketch an ellipse, okay? So an ellipse, you know the shape of ellipse. So when you, it's not just look like looks like uh, a circle. Ellipse means you have something like this. So the the for example we have this meaning that the the length on the y is longer than the length on the x right but sometimes and some and sometimes some of you and me as well sometimes we, uh, i want to sketch uh ellipse but it turned up to be to be a circle so how can you explain to me you want to sketch your ellipse actually but your, your sketching, it looks like a circle. So, that's why labeling is very important. So, you can tell me that it is an ellipse where the value on the y-axis, I mean the intersection on <coughs> y-axis is, let's say, this one is 4 and this one is 2. So, you can see that because the length of them are different. So, it tell, tells us that it is an ellipse. But if you give me this particular shape but then you sketch you label this one 4 and 4 and even though it is looks like an ellipse but because you give me the similar value the same value so i know this one supposedly a circle okay because we don't ask you to to provide the the um uh, what we call that the the specific skill Okay, because we are sketchy so it is okay if you don't provide me the the scale very very detailed scale but you just give me like it, it is fine but you have to label so i know that you are sketchy and a circle or ellipse okay <clears throat> okay so now uh for the uh, b uh, we know that the center is uh one zero so where is one zero uh x is 1 so this is x so let's say this is 1 okay so now because we know that the radius is 2 so this one you have to count so 0 1 so this is 1 and you have another another point so this is minus 1 it is shifted uh, to the right okay if this one so this is not so this one is looks like this. So you have minus two here and you have minus two here. So when, when we have the this particular uh equation, so we know that our circle now shifted to the right along x. So from two you got okay, I should uh expand this one. So it is two. And now it is 3. Okay. So that is the intersection on x positive. And now this is the intersection on the x negative. But y fix. Okay. Y. This is 2. This is minus 2. So where is your center? So your center is over here. This is center. So meaning that in order for you to draw then your drawing is, looks like this. Okay, you see now? It is not a circle, exactly a circle. But I know this is a circle because we know this is... Because from the... the um, um, I mean the, the uh, labeling here. Okay, so now the center is at 0, 1, 0. Okay, so now we go to the the third one, C. Okay, C we have x squared plus y minus 1 squared equal to 4. So, uh, center, where is the center of this circle? At uh, 0, 1. And the radius is 2. Okay. Now for sketching. So it is 
uh, shifted uh, to the above one unit along y. So x does not change. So now we put the center here. So one need three. Okay, so this is y and this is x. So that is the center. So now this one become minus one. And this one does not change. Minus two, two. Okay, so in order for you to sketch, so you need this one, you need this one, this one, and this one. So then you just provide the line. So that is your circle for this particular equation where the property of the circle, the location is 0, 1, sorry, the center is 0, 1, and the radius is 2. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, just now I told you that I want to share with you how to use the Desmos and other apps. Okay, so... Um... Actually, I already upload, sorry, uh, install the apps in my iPad. But for you, if you are using your laptop, you can just easily access uh, through the internet. I mean, to Google. Okay. So now, let's say you want to sketch the graph of x squared plus y squared equal to 4. So, this must just give you the answer. Okay, similarly, if you have uh, kx minus 1 square, and then plus y square equal to um, okay, just y square equal to 4 and it shifted to the right okay because h only x changing but y fix and now the c you have x fix plus um y minus 1 sorry minus 1 square equal to 4 then this one the blue line give you the result of the third one so now the size you can see that the size exactly the size of the circle is exactly the same but just the orientation is different okay actually you can learn many uh, graph it shifted to the, the right to the left upward downward and so on you just you can just use this one but remember for the sake of exam you have to sketch using hand okay and also for the assignment by using hand only just checking for answer but as you know that during the final exam you are not allowed to to cheat to copy to look any other material okay so i just trust you not to do it i hope that you understand okay so that is for how you use the desmos okay now back to the our lesson Okay, so next, uh, so that I think that it enough for for reviewing for make some revision on the sketching that you have learned before this. Okay, now we uh, go back to our uh, scope. So we want to study. We want to learn about the function of two variable. Okay, uh, because the topic is about uh, multi variable function. So, multi means the variable contains more than one. Okay, so now what I mean here. So, on your AM1, engineering maths 1, you have learned this kind of function, single variable function. So, now in AM2, engineering maths 2, you have more complicated function where you have uh, y and x to be the 
Y and X are inside, are on your right side. So you have the function of X and Y, but the notation of this in general is Z. So now in Ingemax 2, you have to deal with two variable function. So this is called one variable. And this is called two, sorry, two variable function. Because you have two here. Okay. Uh, so we can say that x and y are independent variable. And z is dependent variable because z depends on x and y. Okay, so that is the introduction on the function of two variable. Okay, so uh, to look at the example, we start to find the value. Okay, so let's see here how can we read this example. What is the value of z? So this one, um, okay, the first example, f x y is given by x plus y. Okay, meaning that f here is z. Because we know that z is given by f, the function of f, the function of x and y. So now, because here, we have f minus 1, 2, meaning that what is the value of z or the function when x is minus 1? So this is x and this is the value of y. So what is the value of the function or the z? So we just replace here to be x is minus 1. Okay, and then we replace y to be 2 plus 2. So when we uh, total up, we got 1. So we can see that when x, y is minus 1, 2, so the value of the function or the value of z is 1. Similarly, for other example here, we just substitute x equal to 0 and y equal to minus 3 into the function given. So then we can evaluate the, the value, the outcome, okay, the input. So this one, uh, these two is called input value. Input. You put the value. You choose the value of x and y. Randomly. You f you are free to choose any value of x and y. So that is called input. And the, the result. The outcome. So we call that as output. Output. Okay. So here the output is minus 3. And then if you have the value uh, of x is r. And the y is s. So you just substitute. This one is r plus s. So the answer is r plus s. Okay. That is a parameter. Okay. r and s are parameter value in terms of symbol r and s. So that is called output. Okay. Uh, that is the, the, the value. And for example, you have... Um, uh, now function is x squared plus x squared. So what is the output or what is the value of z when x is minus 1 and y is 2. So you just replace. So this one substitute. This one become negative 1 squared and plus 2 squared. And then you just uh, compute and you will get the answer. And I'm sure that you have no problem with this. Okay. And also, we have another example here. We have a uh, reciprocal function, 1 over x plus y. And then, um, when you, you have to compute the value of z when the x is minus 1 and the z is 2. And then you just replace and you got the answer. Okay? So, I'm sure that you have no pro problem. So, I'm, I'm not going to discuss in detail about this. Okay, so we have an activity here. Okay, actually, I have to ask you to do this. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Maybe I can just show you here. Okay, I, I'm just showing you the first one. So your function is given by 2x squared minus y minus 2. And evaluate the function when x is 3 and y is 1. And then you substitute 
uh, x is 3, so 3 squared minus 1 minus 2, um, 18 minus 3. So we got 50. Okay. But so this is just evaluate the function. Okay, for your information, uh, this is never been never been asked in exam. Okay, just introduction. Because it looks like there is no specific application. Uh, if you if we focus in detail on this, it's just evaluating. You just you can just calculate them, substitute the value, and you got the answer. That's it. Okay. So next, I want to introduce you what is domain and range.